Hey there, everyone. My name is Nathan, and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. Now, one of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google account security lock on an Android device, also known as the FRP lock for factory reset protection. It's something that Google initiated back in about Android 5 or so to where when a device is reset without first taking off the Google account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that account again as a security measure after the factory reset has been performed. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S7 that is originally from T-Mobile here in the U.S. And this is a device that does indeed have the Google account lock enabled because as we can see here, as we're going through the setup steps, we get to this screen that tells us that the device was reset and to continue we have to sign in with a previous account that was on the device. So only the previous account that was on it will allow us in fact to get in. You can't just use any old Google account. So we've been contacted by tons of customers over the years asking us for assistance with this specific issue, usually either because they themselves accidentally got locked out of their own device and couldn't remember or recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously the seller after they bought it discovered the lock was enabled and they didn't have the, the the prior login information and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a very common scam that happens all the time these days when, uh, when you're buying and selling used mobile devices. But we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove this type of lock from this specific model without having to have that previous login information. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that we can do this for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect right to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did right here right now. So as you can see, the device was on the Google lock screen and then all we did was one restart and that's because we had already done 99% of the work before starting the video so that we can keep it as short as possible. And now we're just gonna start going through the setup steps one by one and we should indeed be able to see that we can get all the way through the setup steps now. So we're just going to go ahead and skip Wi-Fi because we don't need that. We do have to agree to the terms and conditions. And let's see, we don't need to set up the date and time. And we don't need a name. And we don't need a screen lock. So we're going to skip all of those things. And go through the Google services. And then we don't need a Samsung account either, so we're just going to skip that. Skip T-Mobile's data collection and... Yep, there we go. We've got the home screen loading up. We have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on it. While we're here, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the settings just to show you exactly what we are working with. So in the settings, when we go to the About section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy S7, and then that model number there, the G930T, that's what uniquely identifies it as the T-Mobile version. I should mention also this same procedure can be done to the Galaxy S7 Edge, since they're basically the exact same device. The Edge just has a little bit bigger screen and bigger battery. So if you have a Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge from T-Mobile and would like help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact info will be right down in the video description. And we'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will also enable you to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.